We're going to do things a little differently this morning. Um, we're not going to do a watch me fix something video. Um, we're on lane 11 here at this center. Uh, this is a callback from a couple weeks ago where the trip arm mounted to the number nine spoon on the turret basket was actually riding above the torsion lever. So we're going to dig into a little bit of the theory of why that got bent up. Uh, obviously, because of a deck jam, right? The deck came up with a pin somewhere in a deck chute. And the head of that pin hit that torsion arm. Or the trip. The book calls it a trip. So we'll just refer to it as a trip. So we're all on the same page. If we look in here at the turret wires, we've got some baskets or some turret wires that have a rise on them. I kind of call those high rise turret wires um, as opposed to if we look over here, there's no rise on these, right? They're totally flat. In addition to that, they also stick out further. So this is a maybe one finger width wide here on a standard turret wire. Let's get one of those high rise turret wires in the same place and measure it again. We've got the number nine at the same spot we measured the other one. And look at that, almost two finger widths wide, right? Almost double the width. So let's back out here just a sec. Get my light out of the way. So what's going on? Because this turret wire sits further back, a pin when it's indexing, can slip out a little bit sometimes. And what I actually saw happen was that the nine pin ejected into the seven chute and left an empty spot here at the number nine position. In addition to that high rise turret wire and the extra gap here, the halo was set a little bit high. I've got it almost touching the pin here. I've made sure there's clearance between the mount arms for the interlock probe and these. So there's no bind as the turret indexes. So we're good there. We're not touching the pins. We're not scraping this. We're not causing a bind. Uh, the other thing too is that this had a huge gap between the belly of the pin and the uh, snubber here. So let me, I'll reposition. I'll show you what we got. So we're back at the number nine position. We still have kind of a big gap here. Um, we're at the end of our slats, our slots here. We can't go more that way. But what we can do is maybe try and bend it up. We want about an eighth of an inch gap there. And right now we're looking like half inch to three quarters. Um, the rubber pad that goes in here is missing also. Uh, we put the rubber pad in that could help lift it up a little bit, kind of uh, shorten that gap up. I don't know if they have a rubber pad, so I can go digging. Um, what I might consider doing also is replacing these outer turret wires just to prevent that pin from getting pinched there and kicked into the number seven deck chute. So we've got our uh, snubber reposition now. We've got a, just a hair more than a quarter of an inch and that's substantially better than where we were at. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can force a jam here not looking so good I don't think we can I think we're good there no more uh, pins getting kicked into the seven chute and because really what happens this thing went down here right so let's use this as an example it had an extra pin there then a dump pin so then you've got two pins there and the deck comes up and it's gonna smoosh that back up then you're going to go out of whack again. So this should prevent it. That looked pretty good. So even trying to get this to um, fail by force isn't working. So that's good. I think we've really solved the underlying issue here. Well, we're here. I look over all of the, um, the deck chutes and the spotting fingers also. 
uh, deck rollers are all there. Everything looks good. Um, so I don't see any other reasons why they would get a deck jam other than that pin slipping through right here at the nine spot. Um, this might be a good thing. Um, just to spend some time and explain a little bit more about the why, not just changing the bad part or the broken part, but maybe covering why it could have failed and some other things to look at, maybe, you know, digging deeper into the underlying issues. Um, we can do that today because they didn't have a whole lot on my list. Um, I'm here, you know, one day a week, most weeks. Uh, I'm here for, you know, five, six hours. And all you guys get to see is, you know, maybe a half an hour's worth of video. So with a little bit lighter workload today, we can kind of drill in a little deeper and discover maybe some other underlying issues and things that could potentially be problems um, so that we don't have to come back to this lane and, and do the same thing again next week, right? Cool. Thanks for watching.